So this is a video I didn't expect to be making about my lovely, normally very reliable Alpha 145. Yeah, it's gone all Alpha and it's broken down, but I don't think it's the car's fault. I was uh, driving down, no shot dogs, the traffic's noisy. I was just driving down this uh, road when there's a couple of massive speed bumps, which are really, really harsh. And you have to really, really slow down for them. Even though it's already a 30 limit, you take them at 20 or so. And uh, went over the speed dump and the car just cut dead nothing happening at all so i managed to coast over to here on the pavement and uh well did a bit of research found the fuel cutoff valve which is underneath the passenger seat pushed that and i thought i felt a bit of change on it but the car still isn't starting hang on let's do a quick let's see if anything happens i flicker the needles just churns and churns and churns it should just fire instantly so now me and the alpha are sitting here waiting for the AA and rather hoping they turn up before school pickup time in about an hour and a half. Oh well. So this down here is the inertia fuel cutoff switch that has been pushed. It feels like it's been pushed so can't hear the fuel pump so we're checking in the boot now to see if that is the culprit. I've had enough fun with um, fuel pumps over the last few months to see me through a lifetime but I really hope this one's not dead as well after everything we've been through but it doesn't look too good for it unless it's the inertia switch so I wonder how much one of these is compared to one for a Rover convertible so there is fuel squirting out here now at the pump the pump is actually pumping petrol it just doesn't seem to be reaching the engine this is so reminiscent of my stupid Rover convertible so access to the fuel line now Manually powering. Yeah, that's working. That's manually powering the pump from the boot end. So why isn't it starting? The next test, if he cranks it on the key. Yep, yeah, that's working. That now works. We know it works on the key. So why is it not starting? So I guess we've got a sensor issue somewhere. No spot. Now, I did speak to Jamie, obviously the Auto Italia mechanic who knows these cars inside out, and I forgot to mention to Rich, who worked with Jamie, taught him everything he knows in his own words, and Dan, who worked on the front desk back in the Medway Alpha days. Forgot to give those two a shout out last week, and he has suggested that there's a TDC, top dead centre sensor, which lives under the engine, and that could also have failed with a, like a jolt to the car being old. So, exploring for that at the moment, there's no ODB on a car of this age. Well, we think we figured it out. The immobiliser light isn't going out. So if the immobiliser's stuck on, the car's never going to start. So now try and do these two plugs here to reset the immobiliser, which may or may not work. It's going to keep going on and off after two seconds. No. Okay. So. Mobilised lights still on? Injector lights on as well. Oh, okay. That might stay on until the engine's Start running, on. though. That doesn't work. Okay, so finding the yellow box for the immobiliser was harder than we first imagined, so we'll try and disconnect these two wires and then reset it. Oh, I don't need to disconnect it because I found if I touch this plug here. Yep. The oh. light was flickering. Oh, it's bad. See it? Bad connection in the back of the clock. See it? Quite the same. But okay, no, yeah. Yep, so it's going off and on. A little so and so. So, is that a loose wire in the back of the plug? Yeah. <laughs> what are the chances of that? Plug, the pins on this plug and this ECU. Ah, oh, okay. Wow. Well, that's a new one. Someone is fussing us broken down at the side of the road. So, it's just carefully trying to tighten up the connections on the back of that plug to see if we can get the uh, light to stay off when the box moves around. So the plot now thickens or thins or something, it gets worse, whatever. The problem appears to be either this ring reader, reader ring, or the ECU for the immobiliser, one of which has failed and not something we're going to be able to fix beside the road. That's a very specialist send-it-away job. 
Well, I'm going home now in the most ignominious style possible. Crikey, this thing's heavy with no power steering. Um, on the back of an AA van. Who needs the gym when you've got no power steering? Ah. So yes, it would appear this little yellow boxy thing here is kaput. And that's the reason the car has gone dead. Next thing to do will be post this thing off and see if we can get it repaired. I've not been towed in anything in absolutely ages. This is a weird experience, but better than a rope being on a bar thing. It's much more improved. There's an Audi with a front tire that is shredded in front of the AA van. I was going to get them to tow the car back to Go Italia because then they could stick on the diagnostic tools. Yeah, we're so confident in this, this oh, these damn speed humps. These are what killed it in the first place. This box is at fault that I'm going to post that away and see if we can get that fixed instead. This is just kind of proof that cars don't reward you for being nice to them. In the last couple of weeks, this car has had a new battery, new cam belt, it's uh, out of service. Not that long ago, obviously, all the welding done to it. It's had thousands of pounds lavished on it, and it rewards me by braking again. I know people out there are going to be going, oh, because it's an Alfa Romeo. I think it's just because it's a 20 year old car, and stuff starts to go wrong on a 20 year old car. It's just the way it goes. I do need to say a huge thank you to Matt, the AA man, who has gone above and beyond to try and get this car started. He's gone through everything to diagnose and find the problem with this thing, and obviously it's not something we can fix at the roadside because it's a specialist repair. Also thanks to Jamie at Go Italia for advice over the phone because Matt never worked on an Alpha 145, so uh, yeah, a yeah, bit of uh, pointers of where things were hidden in the car was invaluable to getting this thing diagnosed. Interestingly, this is a Bosch part. This is <laughs> the German part in the Italian car would appear to be the thing that has failed. So today was suboptimal. I didn't plan on going out and limping home on the back of a truck today. That wasn't how I hoped things would go out. This car has been absolutely brilliant. I mean, I've been using it every day since the cam belt was done a week and a bit ago. It's been like my go-to if I'm not going to work and loading the boot with tons of stuff in the back of the Mercedes. This is the car I've been taking out for a drive. It's just so much fun. The engine is beautiful. The driving experience is great. It's been so nice being back in a 145. However, that is now over for now. Um, so the plan for the rest of the day is, or well, rest of the weekend, is this will be posted off on Monday. I'm going to talk to an ECU repair specialist that um, Jamie has recommended. I've put the battery on charge for now. I'm going to leave it disconnected and with the battery on maintenance charge overnight because it did a lot of cranking this afternoon, obviously with no return. And so, yeah, with it disconnected, it will maybe reset all the computers. And before I post that off, I will just once more reconnect that ECU for the immobilizer up and give it one more try. And maybe, just maybe, it'll spring into life magically all on its own. You never know. That kind of thing can happen. Doesn't often, but, you know, never know. Ah, but otherwise, this car is now relegated from duty until that little plastic box comes back in I don't know how many days. Oh, well. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, piece of disaster. It's not often this Alpha does a truly Alpha-ish thing, but it has gone full Alpha today. Oh well, never mind. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button, which is down that corner, I think, and you'll find out maybe 
when this car runs again next and maybe what the problem was. Let's hope so. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching.